friends, this video on kinetic theory part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 8 before going ahead with part 9. Now we will deduce the Boyle's law and Charles law from our perfect gas equation. So let us talk about Boyle's law first. How do we reach Boyle's law from our perfect gas equation? So what is our perfect gas equation? That is PV is equal to mu R T. Right? Now if we consider that temperature and number of moles are constant. Let us suppose we consider that temperature and number of moles are constant. In this case, in that case what happens? The entire right hand side becomes constant because R is anyways the universal gas constant. Now I say that number of moles and temperature is also constant. So I arrive at PV is equal to constant that is pressure, the product of pressure and volume is constant. In other words, pressure varies inversely with volume. If pressure increases, volume decreases. If pressure decreases, volume increases, provided the temperature is constant. And that is what is Boyle's law. So Boyle's law states that at constant temperature, pressure of a given mass of gas varies inversely with volume. So there is inverse relation between P and V at constant temperature. So we arrived at Boyle's law from the perfect gas equation. Now let us look at Charles law. It states that if P is considered constant. Now if we consider the scenario where pressure is constant. In that case what happens to our perfect gas equation? The perfect gas equation is P V is equal to mu R T. Now I say that pressure is constant. So let us take all the constant terms on right hand side. So we will see that V by T will be equal to mu R by P. So this entire thing will be constant because we are considering mu and P as constant. So V by T becomes constant. That means at constant pressure volume varies directly with temperature and that is Charles law. So in this case we find that volume is directly proportional to temperature. For a fixed pressure, the volume of a gas is proportional to its absolute temperature. And that is the statement of Charles law. So initially when we started this discussion, I told you that this law is in match or this law is in correspondence with the various gas laws. So that is why I started with behavior of gases. So I started with the ideal behavior of gases. So how do gases behave ideally? So and what we concluded that the ideal gas equation satisfies the Boyle's law. It also satisfies the Charles law. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.